Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. If you don't poke a hole in the plastic bag, I can't breathe. Are we live? Oh, uh, we are. We are live. We are. So sorry about that. that sorry about we were. That. We were actually setting up the rest of the weekend right there. Uh, <laughs> no Welcome. safe word. No Welcome. safe word. No. If no you safe do, word. Here's here's the thing, guys. All you military folks out there, if you do enough pre planning, you don't need a safe word. You really don't. You really don't need a safe word. Welcome to go. Drinking Bros. <laughs> We've got Keith Smith on. Keith is hey. like, what the fuck did I get into? No, over I, here? I love it. I love it. I don't even understand. <laughs> These guys were talking about Anne Frank right before we we jumped on the show. <laughs> now he's poking holes in bags. This is how we get down on Super Bowl weekend. Anything goes. It is yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, we go to we we both dress as Anne Frank on every Halloween. Every, every Halloween, Halloween, and I throw a kitten heel on. Just because I want to, I also want to feel sexy. I want to feel a little flirty, a little fun. There you go. When I go out at night, but that's just me. It's about confidence. That's really. just me. You're a pretty motherfucker, Keith. Hey, I, I don't, appreciate like a dude. I don't I say it. this a lot about other dudes. <laughs> I appreciate but that. You could, you could turn me. You could. Look, look, <laughs> this is I actually. Have, I, I had no interest in doing so, but no, I, pre- no, no. I appreciate it. But you, you know, you're that dude where it's just like, all right, cool. Every guy in the locker rooms had to say to you, "God damn, that's a pretty little motherfucker." Nah, I, look, kind of princess you a little bit. <laughs> Light skin, where you're like, all right, cool. I get it. I get nah, it. Nah, stylish. No, nah, nah, I'm. I got a. I got a dark shade. I got a dark skin shade. You're here. definitely yeah. very stylish, but you said you're a bargain shopper. As I, well. am. I am. You Are gotta you? be these days, right? Uh, you got there's so be. much bull. Actually, there's there's a lot of parody. Out there, so you could probably find some good shit without spending a whole lot of money for oh, it. Oh, absolutely! I think that's how that's how I roll. Like I mean, one of our just... friends' companies, the one that Tiffany makes leggings for, Curves. Yes, leggings. Yeah, they sell the exact same product that Lululemon does for about sixty five dollars cheaper. Really, it's, it's it's a great product. It's all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a brand whore myself. You know really, what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, yeah. If it doesn't say LL Bean on it, I don't feel cool enough. You know, <laughs> you're, you've totally been wearing kidding. those LL Bean condoms, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have to. They're flannel condoms. Those they're are really the only nice. condoms you can wear in the outdoors. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They yeah. fight all the elements. Yeah, they're you f- never know what's going to happen. Right, Have you ever right. seen a flannel condom before? It's amazing, never. dude. It looks really hipster. It's super warm. Uh, women hate it, obviously, for the chafing. Yeah, it's but bad. it's a really warm condom. For it also that. doesn't hey, prevent that pregnancy. Painful. It doesn't. But it doesn't at all. It looks great. It's basically just a, a, a dick sleeve, I guess. For lack of a better <laughs> phrase. Speaking yeah. of dick sleeve, where do you lay your dick at, dude? I bet. I bet the <laughs> ladies love you in the NFL. Because let's hey. face it, there's a lot of ugly dudes in the NFL. See, yeah. I'm I'm locked up. So are you? Yeah. Yeah, so like I got How old, you're a young dude. How old are you? I'm 26. You're 26. How old is yep. your lady? She's 29. Oh, well, three yeah. years older. Yeah. Yeah, I go for the older one. Damn. Mm. But her clock everybody. is probably ticking. She's probably like, yo, let's. <laughs> nah, she. Time she to make a little baby. baby. Looks, I mean, I, I got I got a kid myself, so you do. Um, like she she knows that too and i mean it's it's just we taking our time you know what i'm saying like she's not worried about what that does i'm she not do? worried about that she actually works uh for the department of defense oh and, shit really um, yeah she's God she's damn, uh, dude i used to work for homeland security back in the day Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to watch that show, Home. You did. Yeah. So <laughs> you really I, I feel it. like we're samesies. Pretty much right, the whole right. time I worked right. there, the whole time I worked there, we kept getting letters from you. Yeah. You thought you were writing to the show, but you were writing to the actual Department of Homeland yeah, Security. Yeah, of, of, of like, Homeland Security. And we would yep. send people out to his house like, please stop writing us these letters. And I was like, I'm, no, I love your show. Because every letter had fucking <laughs> glitter in it and it did. shit. Like, we're right. not going to hire you, Ross. Glitter, right. yeah, and, I, and then I would put a puppet hand in there. So as soon as you open the thing, it would puppet <laughs> hand and then glitter right into the face of the Department of Defense. And by the way, that's almost not a lie. Uh, I, I just finished uh, writing a book with uh, Mr. Matt Best, who's our, our yeah, co-host. Right, He's yeah. not here. Okay. But it had to clear the Department of Defense. 17 months they sat on that fucking For the thing. process? I swear to God. Wow. So it comes out 4th of July, finally. But, I mean, it's been sitting there for 17 months. Just out of laziness. Sheesh. Like it, it would. I finally broke them down after like nine, ten months, and they were like, "We haven't read it, bro." <laughs> we fuck, and it's penguin. So it's not like you know. I was sitting on my backyard, right? Uh, you know, having some uh, Mike's hard lemonade, just writing on a notepad, and then I sent it in and was like, yeah. "I need this just approved." This. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right. No, this was penguin. It was the whole shit. That's dope. Congrats and, on that. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. I, I look. I'm a big time author, so <laughs> I yeah, I don't want to brag. Let's, what was your forty time? Sh- Ooh. Not faster than Usain Bolt today in tennis shoes. I'm I know. That. We just, Did that's you see I that shit? What Did you the watch that? fuck, I, man? Literally, right before I walked in, I just seen that. I was four two two in, in fucking tennis street shoes. clothes, yeah, yeah. man. What and the he fuck? just walked up. That's that's wild. Like that's just a testament to how fast he's that dude. Yeah. He's a, he's an like, amazing uh, man. What's, yeah. your, what's your fastest forty time? Ooh, yo, oh, this is gonna be bad, this, isn't this it? This is embarrassing. Um, see, look, what are we talking? Four nine? We 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 at four eight. 
That's four eight. You yeah, did hit four eight. Four eight. I, I broke the barrier. So. Man, yeah. I, br- I broke that once in L.A. It was about one fifty five. Uh, obviously, <laughs> I, I took a lady home out of the bar. I had five minutes to get her a bottle of barefoot wine. <laughs> I made it there, boom, and I, I made it in under hey, that four eight. There you eight. go, there you yeah. go. Hey, that, that was that... the fastest four eight I've ever ran in my life. <laughs> it's my... all about the motivation. Yeah, right? yeah. well, I'm, I, look, me getting laid that night was depending on it. If I right. could get my hand on a bottle of Barefoot, that was the whole that, night. That's motivation, right there. That's barefoot. motivation, right there. That's motivation, right there. You go double bottle because yeah, you not? never know when yeah. the night's going to exactly. take you. Yeah. Um, and I think I got delivery. No, 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 it was DiGiorno. Um, so I got DiGiorno and then Barefoot, and it was. <laughs> Congratulations! I mean, hey, it was a Post Malone song. Neither so, one of those companies paid us to say that either. No, because that's we're not, a true we're story. Actually, not sponsored by DiGiorno. Imagine that. You would think so. One but, would think at this point. What are you gonna do? <laughs> at this point, so that's you do funny. things. You play football. What's up, man? Yeah, I mean, I do. I do a lot of stuff. Like, but football is my my main thing. So, um, but I, I I feel like so. This is my my fifth year that I just finished and i'm going into my sixth year and um just using my platform i feel like i kind of was off to a slow start as far as just my journey in the league is crazy man like i've I've been cut and released um activated from the practice squad to the to the active roster uh somewhere i don't even i lost count 30 you think 30 times about 20 times Legit, That's, legit. In crazy. five years, man. Yeah, it's four, so, four incidents per year, basically. And yeah, and you're you're at the Raiders right now. The Raiders, the Raiders. Yeah. yeah, the nation. Yeah. So, um, that that was my first year. Last year w- was with the Raiders, and I was with Dallas my first four years. But my first two years, I I came into the league my whole career. I played linebacker, so always overlooked. I was undersized. Mm-hmm. I was slow. Um, I needed your speed. That, that that you had that speed. night, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I ain't have it that day. I should have incorporated that into my my pre draft training, but yep. that didn't work out. But um, we'll get with Jeremy Hill on that with on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we had uh, to, we had uh, one of the, the head trainers on it on a couple of days oh, okay. ago. Yeah, he can. What he'll do is he'll put a, a bottle of barefoot out, and then he'll put a. <laughs> Like an eight next to it, like an an, oh, okay. an eight woman, you know, where it's just like, hey, if you want that eight, you better grab that go barefoot. Get it. Go get it. You better grab that barefoot, brother. <laughs> you know? Yeah, go get it. Yeah, so it, it was a rough. It was a rough start in my career, especially fighting politics, coming from a smaller, not football school, and, and that's uh, San Jose State. San Jose right? State. So yeah. how much yeah. did you fucking party at San Jose State? Be real, man. Come on. I love. I love San Jose State, man. It yeah. was no, really, but somebody who really, looks like you at San Jose State, you must have crushed. Nah. You, I, how see, many was, children do you think are out there <laughs> that look a lot like, like you? Like like you. I, I, ain't, I ain't got none out there. You but, say that, but my one. But you're one. So, yeah. So thank God. But um, I had a I had a good time at San Jose, man. It's real surprising. I didn't know uh, how it was gonna be. I actually. When I first heard about, I had no clue what San Jose State was when I heard they were recruiting me. I thought really? San Jose was in Mexico, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wait, you're did, from California? Aren't I'm you? from California, dude, dude. What the fuck did I just hear? No, <laughs> that's real. So, dude, I, I, in LA, I didn't know what San Jose was either until that NHL team popped up, and I was like, really, the where Sharks. the fuck is this? I, yeah, yeah. I, I, where the fuck is this? I lived exactly. in I lived in Oakland forever, so that seems oh, crazy okay. to me that people don't know where it is. Dude, it's like, I, it's like I the had, sixth biggest city in the country. I now, had no I guess, clue. Now, though. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying. Like, I'm with you. I'm in that LA, camp. LA yeah. kid, it's Silicon like, Valley, man. That's been going on since the fucking nineties. Bro. Bro. This, I, I don't believe anything you guys didn't are saying. Pay right attention now. to anything Absolutely about that. Again, I'm thinking about football. San Jose. That's Mexican. Okay, <laughs> exactly. like that should be a Mexican man. Like, right. like a nice little cabana <laughs> boy. It's like, oh, there's San Jose. I'll take another, you know, umbrella in this this little so San means pina, saint. pina colada. San means saint. Oh, it does. So Saint Jose. Oh, big fan of all of his work. <laughs> what what is he? Collect gypsy tears? I don't I don't know don't what he know. does, but I'm I'm with you. It's I Saint, side with you it's on Saint, that. Yeah, yeah. Saint Joseph. Yeah. So there you go with nah, that. Whatever. You I, I don't speak Spanish. Oh, no need yeah. for it. Does anybody speak That's it? That's actually nah, true. There's nah, no nah. need to speak Spanish at all. So you go there, you crush, and then uh, did you get drafted out of he's, out of he's, uh, Let me stop right quick, because he's a little taken aback by how we went out of that bit directly into a serious question. Hey, why not? Like, that, I saw it on his face. He's like, what the I'm fuck? Like, oh, okay, here we go. Are we done with yeah, that Yeah, that's what we do. Like, yeah, just, keep, just keep rolling, buddy. No, it's, it's entertaining, though. You with OJ right? Simpson, we'd be like, okay, so you you a big fan of Ice or Toners. Are you still looking for the real killers? You know, like, things like that. We'll switch on a dime like that. Hey, you got to catch it. I got to pay attention. Yeah, keep me engaged. I like it. What you, what you did you you play 
played linebacker at played San Jose State the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And you I'm, came into the league, went through the combine, and everything as a linebacker. Didn't get a, I didn't get a combine invite. Didn't get nothing. I led the nation in tackles my senior year, and um, didn't get no type of all star game invite. I actually did play in a. a it was actually the first year uh, the Medal of Honor Bowl had their. There, it's a smaller all star yeah, yeah, yeah. game. We know about it. And uh, was it South Carolina, North Carolina? It's out the city there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, so I played in that, and that was kind of the only love I got coming out. And then, um, really, but I'm just a football player. Like you got to watch the film. So, like that's that's you know my niche. Was. We were just, I swear to God, we were just talking about this yesterday. But yeah. uh, as a as a player who isn't in a position that really, like, unless you're Mike Allstott fucking 20 years ago, you don't put up numbers for fullback anymore, no matter no, what you're doing. No, not at all. No, so, but if you have a great fullback, it can. Yeah, it I mean, makes it, a fucking it, difference, it, right? Oh, the, the so world. how, do, how yeah. do you how do you personally like? I know you guys get graded by your position coaches and shit, but how do you personally quantify a good game? Like you do you make all your blocking assignments or what the fuck, man? I mean, it's yeah. There's really, no there's no statistic that will ever show how good you are. As right, a player. right. Really, it's it's kind of like linemen. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. linemen don't really have stats, yeah. but if, if you if you making room for your ball carry, if your guy isn't making the tackle and you're not just laying out every time, it's just it's just consistency. And especially at that position, I think that's what the fullback position is, is you got to be consistent to right. make your blocks. And Well, I mean, he's, um, your, your running back's got to be able to make cuts before the hole actually opens up, right? It's just right, like a, right. a quarterback throwing to a receiver making this yep. cut. Right. You're, you're throwing the ball like maybe, what, a, a full second sometimes before he even makes that cut. Yeah. Uh, and I imagine for you it's the same way. Like everything has to happen in a very strategic uh, way. Otherwise yeah, the guy's at, fucked. Especially at fullback because you're closer to the line than right. than running back. So, so it, what do you focus on? Was, you're, you're lined up in like an eye. You got whomever behind you. Depends on who it is. Is the quarterback the one calling out the blocks of like, hey man, I think there's gonna be because I feel like you would have, especially as a former linebacker, you got to know those. Yeah, you got to know those schemes pretty well. Yeah, no, you. I mean, that was that was one thing that benefited me in the transition was was knowing how defensive are defenses are structured and even just the mentality that that linebackers have, the guys that I'm blocking in, and what what I should expect when I see this look or whatever, and and a lot of that goes into like film study before oh the yeah, game. That, yeah but um, well you know that that's funny because tony gwen when he you, you know tony gwen the baseball player for the padres, padres yeah years, oh, okay he was like one of the best contact hitters of all time Hall yeah of famer um catchers would report that they would often just tell him like hey fastball down the middle and they would throw that because he they couldn't figure out a way to get him out consistently so they would just tell him what's coming and maybe he would be so psyched out by that so I wonder in your position if you knew a linebacker who loved to shoot the gap like he was this, like anytime he saw it his eyes got big he right. got tunnel vision and didn't see shit else yeah. would you open up a hole like that and let him come through it and then fucking bring somebody off the weak side to block him every time Yeah I mean linebackers some, are pretty smart people Some yeah sometimes I mean there's there's plays like that like trap plays Yeah we do that to the the defensive lineman where you got a guy who's rushing hard upfield every yeah. time, and then you, he gets that good look where the lineman kind of disappears, and he's like free, free selling, and then smacking, all of a sudden yeah, he, gets he gets an ear yeah. hold. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean it's it's a little different from from the linebacker perspective, just because sometimes you can't shoot the gap, so sometimes you got to be patient. Right. But when dudes do shoot the gaps, it's it's usually not. Our our responsibility right. unless it's like a zone scheme. So what are you focusing he, on? Uh, it just depends on. So football is such a complicated game. Like I'm sure you guys know more, but but I'm saying like whereas things can change on the fly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For for me as a guy in my position at fullback, you got to be quick to adjust because right. Really, every play you have any free man. So. They, I, what I'm coached mostly is like fine color. So if I see a guy like losing the block, or and I see a guy going free, then I I say f my responsibility and I'm going to. You can say fuck here. You can say fuck. You can say fuck. Yeah, yeah. You can say I hit a guy so hard he shit himself. <laughs> you can say that <laughs> hey, on the hey, show. And I, like, I love man, doing that shit. He I was wearing a way pants though. They were white, and I saw him shit himself <laughs> like on the field. He twelve his entire pants. I saw what he had, and I, hey. I think he had kale the night before. Like that, you can say whatever you want on here. Yeah, no. But you want to take another run at that and see if you want... <laughs> go go back through that whole state. No, go ahead. Yeah. No, but really though, just. 
it's it's whatever. I just go plug wherever is needed. That's really interesting. Plugged. So it's almost like uh, you remember how when Vic came into the league, yep. they started using a spy, one of yeah, the yeah, outside yeah. linebackers yeah. to be a spy. So you're like an offensive blocking spy almost in, a sense. in that regard. That's, in a sense. that's really interesting. And and I think that's just the the lost art. I mean, a, a lot of teams don't don't use fullbacks as much, but I think that's the one thing that fullbacks bring to the game is the adjustment because when linemen get get off blocks quick. There's no second level if you don't right, have a yeah. fullback yep. behind that. It's just a TFL or yeah. it's on the, the running back to uh, break that tackle. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's just the the luxury of having a fullback is when things go wrong, say, say a lineman completely fucks his responsibility – and the dude goes scot free. He don't need the the lineman knowing that he has a fullback back there. He don't even got to worry about that. He can go and we call it pizza. So yeah. you take my piece, and I'll take your piece. Interesting. So, so it's like switching in basketball. Yeah, almost. exactly, yeah. exactly. So like, say he misses the block, he can just still climb to what my responsibility yeah. would have been, and then I'll just patch his guy up. Mm. And interesting. Then it, that's super interesting. It keeps yeah. the, that's keeps like, the play going. So if you if you and I were clearing this house like in a military fashion, and I walk through that door, and there's a guy on my left, I know you're behind me. I just walk right past him. <laughs> like no, I'm not kidding for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I walk, especially if there's somebody in front of me. If there's somebody in front of me. I fucking start lighting that dude up, and I trust you to come through and kill this that's guy on my left. Dope. Yeah, but it's the same thing, right? Right. Like you. That's that's why there's so much. Uh, uh, parody of parallels between professional sports and the military. Right. Shit, we talk about this shit all the time. Yeah, tactical not, not, shit, not just the camaraderie. Yeah, but, but right. the tactical shit. It's really interesting to me to see how you guys break things down and then how we. Right, do. right. I mean, we uh, when I was in Dallas, uh, we train in in L.A. Well, yeah. in Oxnard. Well, yeah, Oxnard. Yeah, and usually we play the the uh, the Chargers in preseason because it's close. So. Right. We would take a um, bus down, and Coach Garrett he would always take us to Coronado, mm-hmm. and so yeah, where the seals are. Yeah, yeah, and 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 they'd have the seals talking to us and kind of just telling us like what they go through and stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, dang, I thought practice was tough. Like, it's real life, like life and death situations that y'all got to go through is just it's amazing to me. Just just that guys ha- are re- literally putting their lives on the line to do this. And we thought we was tough, you know what I'm saying? It just you are very in, tough in perspective. Yeah, it's looks and so is podcast hosting. Obviously, um, <laughs> I don't want to say that I'm the real hero, but but I am because right, right. like sometimes I look at him and I have to go Nell, and you know Nell. When I say hey, I, I need to go Nell on this, I need him to be a deaf mute and just shut the <laughs> fuck up, and then let me get my point across. So right. like, go Nell, and then he'll be like Tay in the win, Tay in the win, just like Jody Foster, and he understands like. <laughs> you just shut the fuck shut up. Because right. um, my job is dangerous, and I'm the real <laughs> hero here. Dan, yeah, whatever. He's done a couple things in his life. It's uh, only dangerous because we have a very large military fan base, and you talk so much shit. I, I don't at all. At some point, someone's going to go single white female and show up and sleep in a tent outside of your house. And you're going to walk outside one day and they're going to be like, good luck and love you. And then shoot you right in the fucking head. <laughs> right in the fucking head. That. I can hope for that. Probably I want to go out like Lennon. Valley. I want to go out Valley. a legend. I've got the t-shirts printed. R.I.P. Ross. He was a young Jesus. It was his cross to bear in this life. Uh, I guess your kids will be fine then. Yeah. Yeah. That'll, yeah. Make, that'll make some money. Massive insurance program. I'm sure my wife even wants it. Like, hey. Could you get just iced on the street so I can collect that insurance <laughs> she, money? She calls time for a little do over. <laughs> right. She'll yeah. call. She'll call me from time to time and be like, "Hey, what are you guys doing later?" I'm like, "I don't know. We're just gonna. We're on the road, right?" His yeah. wife calls me, and uh, I'm like, "I don't know. We're just gonna go to these places." He goes, "Hey, you know, if if you can't find Ross at some point, that's fine." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My that's wife will just like, just let me say know. That all the time, yeah. yeah. She was like, "Hey, don't I, even worry about like, it." Super casual. Like it's super casual. It's super casual. So yeah. if Ross disappears, guess what? <laughs> Oops. Not yeah. Whoopsie. Oops. Whoopsie. Ding dong. Yeah, yeah, like, not delivery. Sh- DiGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Pay us, DiGiorno. Come on. Yeah, exactly. DiGiorns. I want to get into the real shit here because you you were the first person we've interviewed from the Raiders this year. Oh, the oh Raiders. really? Yeah. And, and I mean, look, there was a lot of turmoil this year. It was rough. Khalil it was Mack, rough, to say the least. Was that My a shock? God, man. Was that a I shock mean, that Mack left before the season? Yeah, because well, okay, well, so we'll start with Mack because that was what a week before season starts. Boom, Mack is gone. Absolutely. What was that so, locker room like? Look, so this is my first year with the Raiders, right? Yeah. I come to the Raiders and I'm like, okay, like we we nice, like that legit squad, all, yeah. all the talent yeah, we got. Yeah, yeah. Khalil Mack, I've heard so much Jordy about Nelson him, coming like, over, yeah. all that stuff, and Love I'm like, stuff. dang. 
can't wait to meet this guy. Like, I'm a fan. You know because you were a linebacker, like that. Yeah, that guy's yeah, gotta I'm be somebody who looks up to you. Right. Like, yo, right? I'm gonna be battling this dude in training camp. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm I'm ready to meet. I ain't met the dude. To this day, because Khalil he, Mack, he, come you're on, kidding. come on, Khalil, get day. over here. That's man. right, this <laughs> guy. No, but here's the thing. Let's do a make a wish he was, thing because he was sitting out. He held out, so yeah. like, he never even came in. No, right? yeah, and I would hear. All, I heard he's a great dude. Like I heard, hear all the stuff from my teammates and whatnot. Like Khalil, this Khalil, that, and just how how much of a good teammate he was. And so even after, so it was. They're tough. still I, talking was, good about him, is what you're saying. Yeah, like absolutely. Because sometimes the guys no. hold out. Like Le'Veon Bell got a lot of heat last year. Yeah, but uh, there's a difference. Like with Khalil Mack, uh, he deserved that money. Yeah, He's the absolutely. Best Le'Veon not, the, Bell, not that Le'Veon Bell didn't. Absolutely. But when I saw the offer of what the Steelers offered him at $13 million, it was 13 and a half to be running back. And it was like, bro, Turning that you should have I mean, taken it. What's funny but, if they franchised him, he would have made nine. If he had just taken the franchise, he would have made 16, right? Yeah. So, I look, they would have run him into the ground, but still, right. over the last two years, he would have cleared 30. So what? And you still have one more contract yeah, left. Yeah, but, but this is the thing. It's, it's like just from a player's perspective, it's, it's more the the principle of what he's doing it for. It's because I mean, he was I, the best I respected offensive player for like three straight yeah. years and they wouldn't pay him. Yeah, and I respected it. he was the first it. guy to get franchise tag twice. I agree exactly. with you. Exactly. It's just, it's just a, a shot to the CBA agreement that's up. Right now, and just how it's it's uh, there's a lot of unfair fair parts of it for for players. And yeah, for sure. So like as as a player, I'm I'm not sure how I would have felt as a teammate because it's tough. You know what I'm saying? Like you rely on your teammates, especially when they're that good. But at the same time, he's a grown man. He's got his family. He's got his future that he's got to worry about. Yeah. And at the same time, what he's doing for himself, he's actually doing it for future guys. Like. Yeah, coming sure. coming down Absolutely, the road, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like the guy from Major League Baseball that first sued to create what we now know as free agency because there yeah. that wasn't a thing back then. Right, right, right. It was they, the seventies. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name, but uh, Ford. Ford, maybe it could be Ford. Yeah, uh, I don't um, know. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> no, I'm throwing out just names but, of vehicles. I think it was Ron. Chevy. I think it was, <laughs> oh, was it Dave Chevy? <laughs> That, that's who it was. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think it was Ronald Toyota. Toyota. Uh, Lincoln. Big fan of his oh, earlier Lincoln. work. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, but the first guy who did that didn't make shit for money. Right. Like yeah. he he got like a fucking sixty thousand dollar free agent contract. Played one year and fuck was done. Yeah. Right. It, it, look, it's a different world now. But I mean, look, you come in, Khalil Mack gone before right. you get there. Right. Uh, Raiders aren't doing so well, and it's then tough. all of a sudden. Amari Cooper. Right, right. I know. It, it just traded. looked like a complete shit show, which it was. It was a shit show. But at the same time, it was like when you're in the midst of it, it's like you're sitting there and you're – a lot of times people don't understand. Like the players, we are connected with the coaches in the front office only to a certain extent. So you don't always know what the plan is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do, so, you, do you feel like you would be a better player if you knew what the plan was? Like if so, – if, if, and I'm not. I'm not gonna call him out here, but if some Chucky looking guy were to say to you, <laughs> two Chuckies, yeah, the owner two looks Chuck, like a Chucky. Two Chucky. He's the like, owner. Your owner, your owner's bowl cut, by the way, is amazing, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's dumb and dumber. It's, it's, I love they it. They put the bowl right on. And it's they, a it's spectacle. An even cut. I love it. It's, it's crazy. I love it. The people do it on purpose. <laughs> yes. The people I love most in the world are the ones who don't give a fuck. Yeah, and that guy clearly doesn't. To rock a bowl I'll, cut in today's society as a white man. Man, that is a that's, bold that's how you move, know Cotton. That's he Raider Nation. We don't, yeah. we don't give a no, shit. You're no, like, you're like he's not wearing a spiked helmet around Nation, exactly. baby. I bet, he's, I, I bet he's got some weird shit at home, you know? He's got, he's got a spiked bat on the dresser, you know? Just <laughs> that would be, How he, rad would that be like a billionaire just has like fucking crazy bullshit oh, around his why house? Wouldn't you? I would love that. I'd have a leather mask with a zipper for a mouth just to do it if I was Gotta that rich. Gotta find things to spend your money on. Let's not act like you don't already have those things. Nah, we do. We do. So Amari Cooper leaves. Uh, yeah. Khalil Mack leaves, and then there's a lot of the, look. There's a lot of turmoil in the locker room over David there's Carr. A, Der, yeah, no, I mean, you, our, yeah, our Derek Carr, his brother. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. His brother's still a pimp too. Both of them, dude, just pimpy looking it's, dudes. It's, it's just look. It was it was just a real shit show, just because it was a lot of guy, a lot of pieces moving while we are in the midst of a season. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's got to be from, tough. From that aspect, it sucked, but at the same time, it was like you got to understand who Gruden is. Gruden is old school. He sees his vision, mm-hmm. and He's if an you're not yeah. part of his vision and what he feels like is going to bring him to the ultimate goal, the Super Bowl, then he's got to make moves. and And I don't even think it was necessarily. 
because they didn't fit the vision. A lot of this stuff came into play like money as far as Khalil Mack. We didn't have money to really pay him like that. Well, it doesn't, he, it doesn't make sense. Like if you were going to, uh, let's say you're a race car driver or something and you're going to race these eight races, but you know for this race you're going to be kind of fucked. You're not going to spend a bunch of money on that race. Right. But like for this year, you guys were going to be fucked. Let's not. Because he, he knew the plan. He knew they were going to dump salary and get draft picks in exchange. Right. He knew he was going to do that. I, I, I actually, don't know. I don't, I don't know. either. I, I actually thought you guys had, were going to have a good we season. Had, yeah. I mean, if you look, you have the I'm talking even, about even what looking, have the talent. I'm on that talking team. about what Gruden had in his brain. He didn't. I don't think he gave two shits about this season. Right, right, wise. right. He's, so he's building a fucking so, franchise. That's so what he's doing. I I think that from Gruden's perspective, I think that he wanted to win, but at the same time, he he wanted to make moves to put us in the in the best position to one meet his vision and two win games and get to the Super Bowl and. The Raiders haven't ha- haven't had been able to do that in the past it's with while, with yeah. what they've had. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I mean, so they, the, their best playoff run was the last one he was there, I believe, in 2001. Right? Well, the yeah, tuck rule? yeah. No, 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 no. Because they went to the, the playoffs when Derek got hurt. Yeah, when Derek got yeah, hurt. But Derek, yeah, yeah, but yeah. That's that, what I'm saying. Like the best. Right. I'm so, not saying the best team. The longest run together. was uh, I, was it Rich Gannon? I think that was the quarterback back in the day. 2001. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. the tuck rule game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That was 2000, actually. And they they actually played Gruden in Tampa. In, in the Tampa, Super Bowl. Yeah. Tampa, That's yeah, right. was with you're Tampa. Right. Yeah, Gruden you're right. won the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but Gruden, Gruden built that team, though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, team, yeah, for sure. So I'm saying, like, I'm – there's a lot of factors that go into it, you know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't never. I think that's what we as players on on the Raiders kind of just accepted. At because at one point we were like, damn, like what the fuck? Like you're giving all the best players we have away. So what the fuck do we do? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but it was just like it was what it was. Like we couldn't afford to pay Khalil Mack. And no, it's a business for sure. Yeah. It's a business. So once you just understand that, I think guys kind of look to each other like, okay, fuck, fuck it. We are what we got. Like, yeah. Well, do you think it would be better if they told you like, hey, you know what? I mean, you can't if you're if you're getting ready to put a Mark Cooper in the market, you can't really publicize everything. Right. You right. can't go to your team and do that because people are going to talk about it. Right. There's no question. Right. But, and, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I think uh, I think it was uh, the best move for Amari because – I think he just needed a, new, a change of scenery. He went to a contender, so yeah. And I mean, and he he went to Dallas and was exactly what everybody yeah. thought he could be. He's a you fucking know what I'm great player, and, absolutely. And he and us as as teammates, we knew like we were sick. We was like, this dude is a gem. Like he's a generational player. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. that you don't really give up. But after after that happened, it was kind of like guys were like, damn, like fuck it, like. It is what it is. Like we can't, we can't. It can't get worse than this. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, we kind of just started playing. And if you look at our season, we lost a lot of our games by minimum one points. score. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like it, you, it you wasn't lost, like I think you guys lost five games by one score. Even if it wasn't one score, it was the last. Yeah. It came down to the fourth quarter type stuff. You know what I'm saying? And and I think a lot of it comes down to just the the whole newness of our system and everything like that's what guys started to get so get this is your down. first season but when you were in training camp and shit gruden's putting in a whole new office right. system it's totally different crazy because right? he does stuff differently than everybody else. absolutely he's old school and, and he's legit west coast so like it was it was just crazy like how how the volume of his his system like is a really? lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Because a normal but, NFL playbook is pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like he expects a lot of the stuff to be be memorized, and so like we can run it like that. Yeah. So um, it was just a lot of volume, but we're doing good stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's just the growing pains, and I think that's what we accepted as players was like, okay, it is what it is. Like, we're in the midst of a rebuilding stage. Like, we're in the midst of all this change, so let's just play our asses off and, and see where this goes. You know so what I'm saying? So that's what you're talking about have in the locker trust, room. Have trust. Yeah, have trust in, in Gruden as a coach because – we, he know he knows what he's doing. It's not he yeah. not just sitting up there playing Madden like uh, ultimate team, just trying to right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I like, want I, I want to ask you who, but have you ever played for a coach that didn't inspire confidence in you like that? And if so, how do, how do you get motivated that way? I mean, 
Um, I, I think I've been with fortunate. Gruden, he's had enough success where you're like, he probably knows what he's doing. Yeah, you know? I mean, I I think I think uh, I've been fortunate in my career not to to be in that position, but I, Gruden is such a genuine dude, and he really cares about his players. And like, it's yeah. his meetings are funny, dog. I've like, heard he's, he's a, really he's a nut. I've heard that. He's a Tell me, fucking like a fun guy nut. or, or do you, crazy. Do you have any specific fun. stories? Oh, like an anecdote. Like, and, and Tell and me this something is, funny that happened. This this is the funny thing. Like a lot of people see Gruden and clips of Gruden and just how intense he is and like what the fuck type shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And like if you be if you're around him and you know him, like ninety percent of that is like sarcastic shit. Like I mean. He's he's definitely serious and he's a professional. Like he's about the business. Like get the shit done. But he's not a a fucking asshole. Like right. Like the hundred percent. Like so most say, of it. So is you're like, saying if you missed a blocking assignment, humor. he might walk up to you and be like, "Hey, fuck face, you missed that block." Yeah, you see that shit. Yeah, right like there? can you fucking get on, something buddy. right? Like, yeah. but it's like that's his humor. You know I what I'm saying? Like, I love that as a not, motivational style because it addresses the issue, but you're not being a real right, dick right, about right, it. Right, we're, we're men, right? We're gonna talk shit to each other. Yeah, that's how yeah, it is. Yeah. So and and that's and I think if you if if you're real sensitive in that aspect, like you can't see that he's like. Being humorous in what he's saying, well, but like, I mean, if you're sensitive, you shouldn't be playing or, the watching, NFL. Exactly. or watching exactly the NFL. To yeah, be right. get you're the right. fuck out of here with that you're shit. Right. Yeah, and and by the way, so at the end of the season, to, to, to close out all this turmoil, now you don't have a city to play in. <laughs> I mean, it it just it never stopped Yo, all year for the. Raiders. I don't know if you're yeah. like it never I, stopped. I don't know never. if you can actually talk about this, but have you guys heard anything about where you're going to be playing? I've like I've heard I've heard Salt I get, Lake City. I get news. I get news. From, I've heard San Diego. I've heard Arizona. Yeah, I get news from my mom. Like, you guys might play in London. Like, I'm like, oh really? Like, okay, <laughs> oh, shit. shit. That I would be the like, worst, wouldn't it? But the, it's just the sucky part about it is like, regardless of wherever we play, we're still gonna be home based in Alameda. So basically, say we play in San Diego, California. Yeah. Say we play in L.A. Wherever. We have to. Every game is going to be an away game for us. Yeah, because we're going to have to shit, fly. The Chargers, Chargers are doing that now. Chargers are going through right now. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to fly and do all that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no, there's no whole week from when you start practicing on on Tuesday to the whole week where you're just in your home city. Right, right. right. And and they're talking about this London. If we went to London, it'd be a month there, a month here. Oh, a month my there, God. Yeah. Month no, here. they want to make your fucking home stadium London. I don't Fuck. know why they keep pushing London, that. by the way. The players don't want to play there. It's an eight-hour flight. It's, it's the worst. It's Nobody the money, we interview the money likes aspect. it. I understand it's that, but it's, it, those games are always shitty, and they're on super early in the morning when you forget about <laughs> yeah. it. You wake up, and you're like, oh, is it right, 9 a.m.? Right, right, and there's a football game on, but they're blowing <laughs> horns in the background. <laughs> it's it's called a Vuvuzela, actually. Whatever, man. I, look, that, that's hey, yo, not where that's I live. show business, baby. That's show business, baby. <laughs> I don't live there. Yeah, um, I've, I've actually it, been fortunate to play. I mean, yeah, I've been fortunate to play. Because, I mean, my first my first time playing out there with Dallas, it was actually a good time. It just sucked this year because of, of the um, logistics of it. We kind of went like two days before. So it was just like we're out there like so you still had lag, jet lag like, by the time you were on the fucking field. By the time, so you practice here and then you flew to fucking London to play. Ooh, yes, that's... all the way from Alameda. Yes. Oh God, that's a How long, long that flight. Like? I mean, it's six hours from coast to coast. And another eight over the fucking eight pond. I think it was an eight or nine. Direct flight, or did you guys stop? Direct. Direct really? Flight. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. it's it's gonna be longer than that. Well, it depends <laughs> if you're going private. Were you guys private? Charter bus. I uh, mean, char- charter, charter plane. plane. Right. Charter Even plane. then. Yeah, even that. Look, you give the pilot enough coke, he'll go fast. Oh yeah, that's how that. That's how. Uh, it it wasn't fast. bad yeah. though. It it wasn't bad. The flight wasn't bad. We had like retractable seats or whatever. Strippers. So yeah, that's yeah. the word strippers, he was looking. Strippers. Retractable strippers is, seat. Is yeah, the yeah. word he was looking for. That's what Dan calls all of his strippers. Retractable, <laughs> seats, retractable seats. Okay. Um, yeah. with, with that, so you guys are in Vegas in what twenty twenty one? Yeah, after next season. That's gonna yeah. be. Bomb. I mean, Killer. that's going to be amazing. Killer. Let me tell you. I hope you're still there, just, right? Have you, a tax cut. Have just you been a tax to Vegas cut. a lot? Yeah. Have I what? Have you spent a lot of time in Vegas? Hell yeah. I love it's it. I mean, blast. Like my, people, my, people my think family. Vegas is just the strip, but there's so much more. There's hella. My, I love so that my, place. Three of hella. My, he said hella. He's definitely been in the Bay Area too. Like, <laughs> yeah. For one year now. Yeah, exactly. saying hella. For Um, I want to say three of my four 
four of my ten sisters live in Vegas. I'm sorry, whoa, whoa, come whoa, again. I'm sorry, uh, we're gonna go ahead and back up that Kia, <laughs> that Kia Sportage. Yeah, Did you yeah. Say you have ten sisters. Yeah. How many kids total? Eleven. So you're the only boy? Oh, my God. Did your dad just keep going until he finally got a boy? And he was just like, I'm done. I, I finally sh- did it. I was smack in the middle, and he just kept going. Wow. He was like, so are your parents still together? They're not. They're not. But all the all 11 are both of theirs? Nope. Okay. Three. All are my dad's. So he was doing his thing. Holy Damn. shit. That's, a, George, that's George Foreman. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, he was well, doing his, he are was all doing the girls named the same like George Foreman? All no, the kids are <laughs> Nah. Cromarty, that's Cromarty. No, Cromarty. All my all, all my, my young sisters are right A's, there. though. Can you A's. can you name all your like? Hold on, this is a Goodwill Hunting thing. Right? <laughs> yes, name all your siblings Dorney, in order. Bobby, Ricky, in Mikey, Donny, Bobby, Ricky, Mike. Ooh, yes. Do them all tough. in order. Yeah. Can you do it? Can if you, you fuck tough. it up, you know all oh of them? man, we're gonna. I'll, I'll you set know up what? A I'm not even gonna feel bad about this because <laughs> if I get this wrong, my dad just got my little sister's name wrong yesterday. So. Posted it on his social media. Oh, your dad's a great guy. Stop yeah. it! What do he say? He's a fool. He's funny. He's funny. <laughs> that's, He's funny. That's He's a funny guy. But um, yeah, there's there's ten. So I'm literally smack in the middle. So right, let's go. You're yeah, we're, we're doing it. Come on. I'm six. So it goes: Portia, Felicia, Kathy, Crystal, Jordan, Keith, Aaliyah, Asia. Armani, ah, uh, Aria, ah, uh, Vegas, yeah, yeah, Anaya. Wow, that's a he lot did of A's. He a did lot of A's. A lot of yeah, A's there's a lot of alliteration. In I, that I think he, thing there. he some, did it on purpose. Where happened, he's like, I got to remember this. Yeah, Let's just name them all A's. Yeah, something happened later, and then he just, just likes A's. I don't know. I love A's too. Yeah. <laughs> you don't talk more about ass that? Ass-eating season. It is ass-eating you know, season. Dan's a big ass-eating guy. Oh, I love it, yeah. yeah. I've he'll, gotten pink eyes so many times. Yeah. <laughs> but he'll sit down and snack. And again, for, for anybody listening out there, obviously I've said this a million times on the show, ass-eating season is October 1st through May 1st. Don't eat ass after that. That's no. when shit gets dangerous. Yeah. It's too hot. You, you, you're it's better off hot, eating. Musty, yeah. Yeah, you, you are better off eating romaine lettuce yeah, from, from May on. Easily. Even though there's a chance you'll get a coli, there's a less yeah, less chance. A little bit less. <laughs> less chance. So you're in, you're in what, a two-year de- uh, two deal with the Raiders? Yeah, so I mean. You're I, hoping that gets extended so you can exactly, go to Vegas, right? Exactly. So I got to ball out this year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got to ball out. Make sure uh, Gruden is still being humorous with me. Well, I got to tell you, if Gruden, I feel like at this point in, if in the there, whole process, if you're still there, he's <laughs> right, like, you're, right, you're going right. to be part yeah, of for the real. Field, right? Yeah, that's, that's, a, uh, that's definitely an... Uh, uh, for sure thing but i mean I, I you always can get better you know what i'm saying like yeah for sure man I mean, so and you're a young dude how old are you 26 26, 26 yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean you're still good to go yep your yep. body hasn't been this crushed. is only my third year at fullback so that's what i'm saying and your so, body hasn't been crushed yet nah, so yeah. I, mean, I mean special gotta, teams but yeah. yeah i was gonna that's ask different. you about that you play a lot of special teams as well oh, i'm i'm a specialist a yeah. Messiah. I'm, like, I'm a messiah what yeah. are you what are you thinking about on special teams it's it's a dog fight. That's yeah, like it's, literally, there's no rules. Just like, just tearing somebody's arms off. It's a whole like that's the one thing that I had to understand coming into the league because I was a I literally did not come off the field my whole career in college. Like I I had like a thousand consecutive snaps or something like that on defense. So I played zero special teams in college. So being a a undersized slower dude but i was scrappy i could hit blah 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 this and that i was expected to play special teams so my first year in dallas like it was kind of a rude awakening because i i just really didn't have one i didn't have the desire to play special teams right and two i didn't really know the little nuances that go on within special teams you know what i'm saying and literally it's a whole different side of the game guys literally make 15 years out of the game just playing special teams yeah, yeah. i mean there, there's see- there's there's 70 yards of the field in play typically right yeah, yeah and there's four referees watching 22 people you can get away with a lot of crazy a lot. bullshit yeah, yeah. yeah. In that i mean field. like holding all oh, that yeah. like it's just a do- it's a literal dog fight. And you got to enjoy that, right? Yeah, it's fun. Somebody it's like fun. you that's it's crazy. Once, once chaos. you accept yeah. it, like yeah. once I accepted it, I think that's when my career took off, and like I actually started being 
a force in in within my squad. So like, um, once I accepted and embraced the fact that I'm a special teamer, really, as well as a fullback, like. I was just like out here. I'm just trying to catch bodies. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like that's it. And so <laughs> kill shot. You know I'm looking for my kill shots. But but um, it's it's. Do you notice how he looked at me when he said kill shot? You should have looked at me. Um, <laughs> again, braver than Dan. I don't. <laughs> Dan gets the accolades, but yeah. it's really the big guy he's over actually, here. Yeah. He's, he is obsessed with murdering. Someone. I served at Olive Garden. <laughs> Very, very reputably. And you know, Post oh, Malone's yeah. favorite restaurant is Olive Garden. Exactly. And That's no intense. one thanked me for my service yet today. So I, I will nah, right now. I you. appreciate the breadsticks. Ah, I appreciate the Sally, you kill it. It's endless. Mm. So you is know, that pasta. It's oh, endless. Oh, you know, you, you was but, tossing that salad. I have That's to. What you was doing. I have to. <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying. That's how you get this those is tips. What, this is what you got to toss that salad to get those tips. This is what happens when you come on Drinker Bros. This nice, polite young man is talking about tossing I salad. Know. Welcome oh, to our shit. world. We bring you all the way down into the gutter, <laughs> and then we release hey. you like a small trout back in the sea. <laughs> <Right. laughs> hey, I appreciate it though. So, hopes What's and up? dreams here coming up. What's your long term goal? Do you do you hope to stay with the Raiders the entire time, or do you want to go? Let's uh, like hypothetical. It's it's super Super Bowl weekend. Do you hope a, a team like the Rams, like, would it be rad to block for for Gurley? Um, absolutely. I mean, that'd be dope. But I'm I'm Raider Nation. You know what I'm saying? I've, I the fan base is. I just, love Raider Nation. Man, it's great. I love them. You, you know what I'm saying? They're so for loyal. Fucking eight and a half years. I fucking love it there. Yeah, love they're it. they're just. I'm not even a fan of the Raiders, but I love going to the games because everybody. They're it's, scary. It's like it doesn't yeah. matter. They're scary. Oh, yeah. It doesn't Literally. matter if the Raiders are a two and fucking uh, fourteen. They're there. Exactly. And they're, and they're dangerous. Yeah, they're yeah. they're, <laughs> they're <laughs> not dangerous. Yeah, they are. I've been. I've I've worn a fucking Aaron Rodgers jersey in. To uh, the arena with uh, them playing stadium. the Packers, they don't give a shit. The stadium, yeah, I, they don't care. I don't know. I saw a woman pull a whole knife set, a Ginsu <laughs> knife set, out of her vagina, and <laughs> she, was, yeah, she was just like, "It was in the box. Nah. It was still in the box. It was still in the wooden block." And I was like, "God damn!" Nah. Raider, she goes, "Raider Nation," and I was like, "I don't." How's hey, your vagina? That you know what the real problem <laughs> is? How did you pull that? Whole the thing real out problem of that? is, is the fucking Alameda swap meet is right next door to fucking Oco Coliseum. Right, it's yeah. it, it's, whew, it's man, tough. that's weird. It's, that whole neighborhood is rough. weird as shit, buddy. It's tough. Yeah. I'm just telling you, it's weird. Yeah, it's as wild, fuck. man. And but all it's the buildings fun. are still made it's out fun. of concrete. Like, yeah, 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 if anything yeah, ever yeah. happens down there, everybody's gonna die. Yeah, I think the whole team is secretly like, you should have seen it when we we played them them fires. Oh, it was terrible. Was it? What? Really? It was like that we was playing inhalation? in the fog. Yeah, 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 we was playing in the fog. It was terrible. Yeah. I don't know. You got to get to Vegas, man. I, by the way, so uh, I don't know if you know this, but Black Rifle Coffee is a, a big sponsor of the show, obviously. Oh, okay, yep. nice. Um, uh, Dan is a, a lovely employee for Black Rifle Coffee, obviously. <laughs> okay. um, but they sponsor the Vegas Golden Knights. So that, yeah. that's the reason I bring this up. We're going to work with the Raiders, too, for sure. Yeah. And, We're and, already and talking so, to those guys. Yeah. yeah. The, the reason yeah, I bring this to. up is I had never... I was suspicious about a team going to Vegas because mm-hmm. I thought, man, there's no way. There's not going to be real fans because everybody goes to Vegas to party or whatever. No. Uh, we went to the Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah. And it was insane. Raider Nation. Dude, the fans were out of control. There was about 4,000 just watching outside the arena. Yeah. So Stanley Cup ends. Cut two, three months later. We go to the opening game. And I was like, I thought it was a fluke. I was like, maybe it was just this one year. They, you know. Right. No. The fans were rabid. And I turned to you and I said, Dude, imagine when the Raiders get here with yeah, these fans gonna are going to be crazy. like, holy shit. But not only that, the fan base in L.A. of oh, the Raiders fans. It's four hours, that's such a, They're coming. Uh, it's a 40-minute oh, flight nothing. on Southwest. It's West. nothing. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. I mean, that, I grew up in, in listen, L.A. and I've been to Vegas to plenty of times. This is a really good yeah. stat. 40-minute flight. Eight, on that exactly. Southwest. So exactly. You know that hey, Southwest flight. Cheap. Out of Burbank? Even yeah. better. I can it's, valet my oh, car. Is that John <laughs> yeah. Wayne or is it Bob Hope? Yeah, Bob Hope. Bob Hope. Bob Hope. Love that. John Wayne's the O.C., but... But yeah, that Burbank flight is easy. Oh, it's, it's it nice, is. isn't it? Even so, the Oakland from from Bob Oak. It is. It's yeah. like fucking it's like fucking seventy eight dollars sometimes they run yeah, those sales. It's great. Like fucking, Wanna it's get ridiculous. away. Yeah, want to get away. Want to yeah. get away. Southwest, I mean, that was pay us Southwest. <laughs> that was go. Gruden, yeah, that was Gruden. By the way, after trading Khalil God. Mack, want to get away. <laughs> <laughs> Watching him. And, yeah. Oh, he was stressing. Hey, I'm listen to this. So this we is a good stat. Eighty three percent of the season ticket holders for the Vegas Golden Knights are Clark County residents. Oh, They're shit. in Vegas. Yeah, eighty three percent. So when you get there, I mean, I mean there. Like, for real, like because I was skeptical when we got there, I was like, man, and it was it was a part. I mean. 
It was a party atmosphere yeah, like, the right. whole way outside through. Outside of T-Mobile Arena, T-Pain set up. Like 40,000 people came out there to watch, to watch? this concert before, oh, before the then, game starts. Yeah, and they do that all the time. Man. The other part about it, and like you know, I hate to throw gambling into this mix, is when you can roll into the casino, bet on the game, and then walk cause and go watch to the, the game. Go watch the game. Yeah. You were cheering your ass off <laughs> because <laughs> there is money on <laughs> the line. Yes. When we went to the Stanley Cup Finals. I yeah. put a bunch of money on the, on the Golden Knights when we went there. When I walked into that arena, I was ready for blood, brother. I was like, come on! <laughs> Tear their faces off. Right, right. We won. I won. Like, I felt greater about the experience. And I was like, man, I can't wait to go to the next That's game. Dope. I can't That's... imagine with the Raiders being there. Like, right. I, I think Football it's going to be Because their seamless. fans are already so seamless. fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, yes. the Golden Knights didn't have a fan base. Oh, and their fan base is crazy. Yeah. So the Raiders have a crazy fucking fan base that's coming to yeah. Vegas. To add and to not to only that, to this other to crazy. Oh, my madness. God. Dude. The other thing is they when, when you come into Vegas, all those stadium. tourists, if you can go to that, it's like going to a show where you're like. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, even that. Mo- they should have built international yes. money. Guys, they should have built a college-style stadium with 100 fucking thousand people. Right. Like Penn State Stadium. They should have built that. Yeah. It's going to be awesome, man. I'm stoked. I hope you stay there. It's going to be the loudest place on earth every fucking Sunday for the next foreseeable future. Yeah. (laughs) No shit. (laughs) Now's the point in the show we get to the drinking bro of the week. Um, And this is the only serious, or it could be non-serious, somebody who inspired you personally. Um, growing up helped you get to to where you are today. Who would oh. you like to give the drinking bro of the week to? Was there somebody as a you know as a young man I'm, on the come I'm up? I'm gonna I'm gonna set my mom aside because she don't even drink and she's not a bro. It doesn't but, no that no, doesn't bro matter, at, man. Yeah, bro, bro, we yeah, have bro that. Yes, well, no, we don't I care. Mean, it's your mom, my mom. You know what I'm saying? Between that's her, like eighty percent of people will say their mom, so it's fine, dude. Don't just let's. They let's actually talk. don't. I we don't have a lot of moms in here. A lot of dads, dads actually. Yeah, that's dads, true. Yeah, that's well, true. Parents I mean, in general. Yeah, my mom. She just kind of just instilled all the work ethic and just the drive that I've had, especially going through all the the ups yeah. and downs of my career. What's your like, mom's name? Julie. Julie. Julie Smith. Yeah. yeah, she's just she's a saint, and she raised me and my two sisters, full sisters. By herself, put all three of us through college, and just what does she, what does she do? What does she? For she work? she uh she's a she sells servers. She used to work for IBM, okay, and now she's at a different company. But they kind of outsource and sell all all different uh come like tech IBM, equipment and shit. Yeah, yeah, tech yeah. equipment, so awesome. servers doing like million dollar deals and stuff. And she's she was just killing it and just. At the same time as raising three kids by herself, like it was just. I it, mean, it just, putting four kids through college is. I'm not gonna do oh, that. Oh man, that's insane. Fuck that. I yeah, get two. I'm a lot done. Of goddamn money. I'm, I'm stopping yeah. it too. Like, that's, yeah, and that's that, too and much that, college money. That that was part of my motivation though, growing up, because I mean, I've always wanted to play in the NFL, and like yeah, that yeah. was my lifelong dream. But at the same time, I'm able to help my mom and alleviate her finances by getting a full scholarship ride yeah. and and going to college and and just even setting myself up in the league to take care of her like she took care of me growing right, up. Like yep. she's she's always been my, my saint growing up. That's awesome, That's man. Great, yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Love that. Cheers to your mom. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um last question here before before we let you get out of here. <laughs> Workout music. What do you go what's your go to song right now first? Man. What's the what's the top of your tr- your track list? You know what? Is it sicko mode? I no, feel like there's only no, two songs no, out no. right now that everybody no, works I'm, out to. I'm Cali Cali dude. So Really? What, literally last night, my my agency had a. Um, are you a young? Are you a, a Jeezy fan? Because he's from nah, the Bay Area. Nah, yeah. nah, I I mess with Jeezy, but YG love that dude. Really, love E forty two. Yeah, YG. YG's great, man. Hey, yeah, he was he he was here last night at uh, my agency's event. Cute. Did you hang out with right. him? I didn't I didn't hang out with him. He came up quick and like he was in and out, but I was up there on the on the on the couch like what. Just going yeah. crazy, <laughs> going great, crazy. Man. But like he's he's been on my playlist since college, since high school. So YG, that's that's my dude. That's awesome. Any yeah, celebrities you got start over? Uh no, I I haven't. I this haven't. weekend, N- nobody. No, no. I mean, I I don't think I've really been starstruck like that before. Yeah, I was last night. I met Jody Foster, who played Nell, and um, I thought it. <laughs> I thought it, Dan. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Tay in the wind, Tay in the wind. That's all I kept telling Jody. I was like, yeah. I'm dealing with a Nell myself in right, the podcast right. world. Let me, let me. None of that ever happened. Yeah, no, I'm just, just, 
It did. No. Yeah, I, I walked. Jode Foss is what I call her. Um, Jay I said, Foss? Yeah, I was like, yo, Jofo. Um, <laughs> can you do a quick Nell for my co host? Because sometimes I need him to be deaf and mute, you know? I just want to hit Tay in the win. Tay in the win. Either way, Keith, man, this was a it was a yeah, blast. Great man, Thanks appreciate y'all. No, yeah, appreciate y'all for, for having me. Yeah, real talk. I, I'm sure you'll you'll leave here and get in your vehicle and be like, yo, the first call you're like, what the fuck was I on, dude? <laughs> nah, this is fun, man. Who this is are these guys? It's like, y'all good people. We good got people, to say so. fuck like four or five times too. Which well, you you yeah. said it about a thousand times. Tonight, I'm always man. gonna say it a thousand. I don't care about this guy. He was feelings. in war. <laughs> he care was about in him. war, so he can say whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Keith, it was a pleasure. I look much continued success. I hope you kill it. I hope appreciate the Raiders it. gives you a, a max. I contract. can't fucking wait for yeah. the Vegas Raiders, man. Same. It's gonna be fun. Say, hey, we'll be there opening night. We'll be there opening night for sure. Man, we would love to see. That. Appreciate yeah, it. you're an awesome dude. One of the pimpiest looking dudes there is, man. <laughs> yeah, I we're definitely that. gonna. Yeah, well, let's, let's we'll just, find uh, out yeah. where the night goes. We'll see where it goes. Whatever, <laughs> that's our journey. That's our journey, brother. Let Welcome me, to Drinking Bros. Uber. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Thank you for being here, man. Nah, I appreciate, I appreciate you. Appreciate yeah, it. yeah, no doubt. <laughs>